Hi, uh, Melissa. Melissa Gui from KL. This video is for you. So you did ask me to do a Facebook Live about this uh, Kochujang village. And earlier on, I couldn't do it because I had no clue. We were just I was busy like, learning. But... So we were just like exploring, you know, because uh, we come here and there's no information center and no one could speak English. So we were just like, um, um, you know, we just walk around and see what would happen. And when we walk up to, we were walking both sides. And when we came up here to this place, and this young man, the third generation Kochujang maker, could speak a little English. And I was like, phew, you know, all that I needed to know in the very little English that he speaks. So that makes more sense for me to, uh, or rather, you know, it makes me understand about Kochujang better. And by the way, Kochujang is that special chili sauce chili paste you know like it's a mixture of uh, chili powder uh, fermented soybeans glutinous rice and something else that is like it's like a dollop that we put on top of the famous bibimbap in uh, the Korean mixed rice and also most of the fermented um, fruits or vegetables right so come, let's go before my phone battery runs out. Okay. So I was like, really? Okay, let's go this way. So this is where they cook the soybeans. The conventional way. Still using wood fire. So after that is cooked. So this is Jay Sang. Hi. <laughs> is that your mom? Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> right, so after that is cooked. After that is cooked. <laughs> Kimchi no gochujang. Gochujang. <laughs> so that is after the bean is cooked. So they strain it here. And from here, it will. So after it being strained, and they go to this uh, crushing machine and these days they do not use they do not use to use hand to make a block they use this machine you know after being uh, crushing the boiled and cooked beans and out comes a block they just pack it and become this so this is a uh, the Korean fermented soybeans which we also can call it like similar to miso of uh, uh, Japan but the difference is this is like through wild fermentation for the miso paste because they actually uh, mix with the Aspergillus oryzae a kind of um, microbes bacteria right so this one is wild and its origin so from here they are going to Look at that. So from this, they are going to sun dry it for three months. Three months. Oh my goodness. Even in uh, winter weather. I think winter is better because there will be no contaminations. Right, because if you sun dry in um, in the summertime, contaminations can happen. So from here, they actually, when it's dry, that 
It's called a Meiju block. From Meiju block, they put into salt, the brine. Salt and water. They will add some uh, red dates, a huge uh, Korean red dates, plus uh, dried chili and also charcoal. So for antibacterial uh, purpose. And so that will be fermented for a period of time. Now it's so overwhelming because I won't be able to tell you exactly the, uh, the information because it's like mind-blowing for me. Because what you read in the internet and the actual thing are so different, you know, because of the, the weather and the temperatures and everything and the kind of beans that you're using. So with that, you know, the Meiju block that is submerged in the brine for a period of time, after that, they're going to strain it so that uh, major block is going to be like quite softened they strain it the water that they strain out is what they call a korean soy soy sauce okay i just bought one which is eight years old unpasteurized wow that was so uh, so touching and also a uh, okay go back to kochujang so with this um fermented soybeans after being strained out uh, the liquid is a soy soy sauce that fermented soybeans would be used to add into other ingredients like in in the case of kochujang right they mix with the chili powder the uh, glutinous rice and i think something else i forgot okay they make into fermented further so I just bought one which is like three years old gochujang. <sighs> I was like, inside me screaming, wow! <laughs> Something, food that is so alive. Okay, so with that gochujang, you can, um, in fact, it is one of the most ingredient, a most important ingredient or seasoning for most of the uh, side dishes or fermented or you can call it pickles but pickles is a call a quick ferment because normally they use uh, vinegar in japan but over here they use gochujang to marinate further and like garlic i just bought one which is like 25 years old so when they fermented with the uh, the garlic with a 30 year old gochujang oh, I was like mind blowing already inside me you know exploding already I do not know what to say anymore you know I was like oh. <laughs> come let's go to the um, well I keep forgetting the name let's go inside from here from here to here wow ah you see delicious you see this is the kind of simple food they're having wow this is really very very healthy kimchi jjigae kimchi kimchi wow You see why they are so healthy now? The Koreans? So simple. They eat raw and fermented food. Can I try that as well afterward? Yeah. Yeah, I want to try. Okay, uh, I, I forget the name, Jason. That is called Jangachi. Okay, this is actually daikon which is uh, radish how many years already three years three years old radish yeah, melon, melon. Yeah. how many years two years three years old um, fermented melon this is i think perilla leaf, leaf. leaf. yeah and this is um, mix 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 radish, radish. Uh, yeah yeah okay i, I can i can see pickle. that pickle, pickle. Right. 
Mm. Yeah, pickle, mm. radish, mm. and yeah, garlic leaf. Garlic leaf? Yeah, yeah. banh oh. chung. I see. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. so. Okay. So this is a fruit, right? Yeah. Passimum. Mm. Right. Fruit. Yeah. yeah. This is garlic. garlic. Oh, this is the 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 king the queen for today this is 25 years old fermented garlic wow this is carrot no no My korean name is dodok ah uh, budok okay i know you know budok dodok dodok i don't know brief um translation translation um, root a uh, root yes no. yes um, it's not carrot. Oh, you have in English? No. Todok. Oh, it's still todok. Okay, we do not know what is it. Okay, so maybe we know, but because it is in in Korean, so we don't understand. Of course, I mean sometimes we really do not understand the name, but they might sound similar. I mean the, the 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 kind of vegetables or fruits they are the same, and some other countries also produce it, but they are in different names. So that's why we are a little bit confused because of that. <sighs> okay, he's gonna let me try. 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 <laughs> Oh, hey, I have a question. What is uh, I can't make out of that. Don Chang and Kachu Chang? Yeah, Coach Chang. Yeah, Coach Chang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Don Don Chang? Oh, I can explain to you because my wants it. <laughs> my. Oh, oh, okay. He wants the dunjang and gochujang. Okay, we get for him the gochujang. My friend is Korean American. Ah, and so. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. So we get one more three years old gochujang. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have dunjang? Yeah. You have dunjang? Oh, you have? Yeah. Okay. okay. Bye again. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so that's the, the dunjang. Oh my god. So this is their fermented soybeans. Dunjang. <laughs> By the way, this is the three years old gochujang, okay? Three years old. Oh. This is what I call an orgasm. Orgasmic. Okay, let's go and check it out. Oh my god, this guy is so generous. Okay, what do you have there? Ah, oh, let me go to this side. Oh, Dunjang. This how many years old? Uh, three years. Oh. Wow. I want to taste. You know they call the fermented food aka also known as rotten food but any kind of food that i came across once they are like rotten go th going through a rotting process they just taste so good oh this is so good mm. <laughs> so that dunjang you sell is the three same. years old yeah, same, same. You say same. Mm, okay, I want. I want also one more. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa, lots of probiotics. Mark, you gotta try this. Mm. 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 No, 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 no. This one? Not too much. Okay, okay. It's very Are salty. Either. Either. Okay, okay. <laughs> Chan. Chan. <coughs> wow. So this is three years old. Wow. Tell Mike about this. Wow. Mm. Really, I, I, I do not know what else to say anymore. It's so touching, you know. I just feel that um, this whole trip in Korea, because of this trip, the first one was learning how to make the uh, Korean rice wine makoli, and now visiting this Gochujang village is like. The whole trip is fulfilled to the max and what I call a multiple orgasms. Wow! <laughs> mm. Oh my god, so good, so good. So anyway, I'm going to be ending my video. So okay. I want to eat that. Can I try to eat also? Yeah. <laughs> My God. Okay, Mark, can you? Oh, oh so good. Huh? It's so good. Mashita. Yeah, I'm going to Kimchi. Mm. 
Doon nga, mukbang siya. Ano ito po? Mukbang, no? Hindi. Ano nga sa mukbang siya? Mukbang siya? Mukbang. The current mukbang. 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 Last words. Okay, I've got nothing more to say. Just enjoy your meal. So, um, I'll show you what is necessary. The uh, most essential part of Sun Chang Village. And now I don't want to say anymore. Just gonna keep eating. Yeah. Okay. Um, bye. Yeah.